Good question. How do you teach semi pressure? Usually start with encouraging the juniors to just go first before trying thinking too much about semi. Your sensei has been trying to drill you on this on semi technique to hit men where we get into sokuito no mai without moving our left foot forward. We lean forward, press the shinai forward and cut down a little before striking a big man. Oh, you said you keep losing your balance before you lift your shinai. One thing that I'm liking that what you're saying that cut down a little is a lot of people when they try to come in to approach the opponent they try to push to the side and if the opponent just happens to not fight your shinai then you are out of center and they can attack you so when you cut him down a little it's more like you're trying to get the center by this will be you controlling your opponent to then attack forward that's a good way to i feel not get stuck with the with the shinai and also keep yourself a little bit more protected against the opponent doing an attack against you i think that the first skill that we need to learn in order to do semi or to pressure your opponent is to understand how to approach the opponent. Like you're saying, you're having trouble losing your balance and holding your body until the moment to attack. I think that the basics of step in and attack and understanding how to do a small, 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 small step is kind of like the basics of it. I think pressure does start with the body. And then when we talk about semi, I think there's many elements. It gets a little bit complicated to like teach the beginner. So I feel like beginners need to learn how to approach the opponent first to then start worrying and to start working on pressure. Through experiencing Keiko, they start learning how their actions make a reaction. But one of the things that I like to do, I like to practice to l understand more my control. It's do suburi with different timings on the sword. So the first one will be like lift up the shinai before going forward, just to warm up, just to understand the motions of the arm, how the arms have to move lifting the hands and then moving so you can like you know synchronize everything then you can start moving up to doing at the same time right so is that i'm moving my legs my right leg at the same time i'm moving my left hand and throwing the strike when the left leg is coming forward then the last one is push myself to move my right leg first then the hands and of course, this will require more explosivity to be fluid. I push and then I do one fluid motion. One thing that you want to make sure is that you learn to have stability as you do. So I think this was for me the first element to understand to be able to move. Then the next step after that, what I did is to do one step and then men. So one step, men. One thing to keep in mind is that when you're approaching the opponent, what I try to do is I try to keep contact with my opponent's sword until the last second that is possible to then lift. Because if you step in and raise at the same time, it will be step, you lose contact. Person can attack you. It will be step, raise. You have to learn how to bring your left foot forward and be on kamae position before you lift because that's how you're going to create stability. Ideally, what you want to think about is to not lift the shinai. So it's a great tool to do that, the little cut down a little bit before. So on the first step, that way you make sure that your sword stays there. Then you go forward. You want to keep the kenzen in as much as possible and then explode. But you also don't want to tense it up because if the opponent kind of does what you were talking about outside, right? You your tendency will be to fight back, then you'll get stuck. You want to come in feeling the opponent's shinai, but not giving too much resistance until it's the moment where you're going to make the opening to go forward and attack. I think very important to come in in a relaxed manner. So I try to keep my shoulders relaxed. But as a matter of fact, when I'm practicing Kihong at the dojo, I try to right before I, I, I get into Kamae, I like tensor the shoulders to then feel feel them relax. I think practicing Tsuburi like that, where you do one step and then you hit the men, making sure that the right leg goes first before the hands. I think that's a great, it, it was a great tool for me to learn the stability and to learn to make sure that to bring the left leg forward. Which all of this has relationship to semi, relationship to pressure, but it's not semi, right? Again, learning the physical skills to come in forward.